don't be afraid to fail. Or I can put it in a more edgy way. Fail as much as possible. Am I sexy? Am I still sexy? Jamalik fi yamlik role model wa fi yamlik ktir rkhisa. Ahyan bas qallil aqlak ta'mal kaman mnih. The solution was that I failed in the official exam in Baktu. When I looked from behind my window to the street during the civil war, why a cat can pass a checkpoint and another Lebanese cannot because of his sex. I wanted badly to be a cat. <laughs> uh, I used to say things as I feel them. So this dignity played as it appeared first, a bad role with me. Dignity So I'm successful is at this moment jobless. أنا بدي أوقف هون. يا إلي مين المجنون بيوقف برنامجه؟ قلت له العالم تتذكر الهبوط. Later on you will discover إنه قد بسوى. أنا. بس فتحت الباب. بتعرفوا هذا البكا اللي فيه صوت؟ بتذكر أكثر ليلة بحياتي عرقت بالتخت. وقعدت يومين بالتخت ديبرست على الآخر. عاجزة عن أي شيء. Fail as much as possible. Hi, I'm Raf Abul Hassan, reporting for the Transformative Education Drive at AUB. Today we hosted TV anchor Dima Karaki for a mentoring talk, and in this report I'll be conducting interviews with the audience. So how did you like the mentoring talk? Well, I think Rima was, uh, gave an outstanding uh, talk. Uh, I was very impressed, despite my long uh, experience. And uh, I think uh, at the core of this is uh, that a lot of graduates from top universities such as AUB represent change agents for our society, not just for the workplace, for their families, for the societies, for uh, the country. Everybody wants to change the world. But it's very important to realize you have to change yourself in order to change the world. And in order to do that, as Rima mentioned, you have to follow your passion. Your passion is not constant. It transcends, you know, with time. It changes. There's no problem with that. But in order to follow your passion, there's no doubt that there are. It's a bumpy road, and you have to make mistakes. It's those mistakes that make you learn, that make you stronger. And this is exactly what Rima said, and I fully agree with it. It was an inspirational talk. I very much enjoyed it, and uh, I wish Rima the very best in her future, especially to get a job soon, since she said she's a jobless. Thank you. What uh, thing you heard was uh, inspiring to you, the most inspiring thing? It was actually the theme. It was the theme that, uh, you know, failures are success. And it really touched me because I lived stuff like that uh, in the past couple of years. So uh, it really touched me and it's very realistic. This is what I liked about the talk. It's very realistic. Was there something specific you could relate to? Um, well, it was, it was uh, shutting off your passion for a while and then coming back to it because this is what happened to me uh, recently. I am very grateful and it was my first time in the Bahadur Mentoring Talk because Anjad her talk about her failures affected me more than her talk about her success. Well, to me that was the, the highlight of the show. Great talk. Everybody who did not watch it, you missed out a lot. What do you think about the Mentoring Talk initiative? Um, Katlemi's AUB, especially pursuing medicine, I needed her talk. Has no her talk about no, hatta as a, you don't get success when I will try. Continue on, to remain persistent, to focus on your goals. Inshallah, it will work out. I enjoyed it because I feel like for the first time I th I see things from the inside, and uh, I think. Uh, she doesn't lead a very regular and normal life and to see her point of view and to see the way she lives these things on a daily life, I think it's interesting and it's new. I really loved it a lot. It was really inspiring and uh, it exceeded my expectations. You could relate to anything in specific? Um, I love the way uh, Rima Karaki talks about women. Uh, this subject really means to me and uh, it was really nice. I loved it. It was really nice and interesting. I really liked it. It was a very nice person. What was the most inspiring thing that you heard? 
that uh, she was jobless and uh, she's still uh, smiling <laughs> وكيف حكيت عن حياتها وهيك كيف طلعت وان شي فيلد ان شي فيلد ان شي فيلد وذن شي سكسيدد اي ريلي لايك ذا منتورينج توك ات واز كوايت انسبايرينج ات واسنت شوجر كوتد از ماني ام منتورينج توكس ار ام ويل ات واز ريليتابل تو سو ذات واز جود از ذير اني ثينج يو كود ريليت تو يا ذا كونفيوجن اند ذا فاكت ذات ام شي ستود شي ستود اب فور هير سيلف وين ايفري ون واز اجينست هير ان ا واي So yeah, uh, I really liked it. It was so interesting. Like I didn't expect it to be this way, and I found it really, really inspiring. Was it the first mentoring talk that you attended? Yeah, it was the first, and I think I'm gonna attend many more. يعني هي حسيتنا على ناخد الريسك يلي بحياتنا خاصة إذا منحس حالنا مرتاحين فيه وإنه نروح للماكسيموم تعاوننا لحتى نوصل لوين ما بدنا فأنا كشخص بس هلا إنه I'm a premium student and I'm thinking about med school. And uh, I'm usually very attracted to physics, so now I'm lost in my, you know, in my brain. I have many thoughts. So, you know, I'm thinking, you know, be the risk, or be the dalim in the area that I'm in, especially when I have interest in biology. I felt like it was really powerful and emotional. Like in some cases, I was like full of tears. It was really like full of hope. And what I really liked is when she said about being jobless but still successful. It was pretty inspiring. This is the second one I've attended. I went to the Sir Fraser Studdart one. So I got the kind of main idea of what these are about, you know, to inspire students uh, besides simply just academics like, you know, life life building in general. And so it was pretty inspiring. Uh, you know, there are several moments where I felt like we probably should have applauded, but we didn't. But in general, it was a pretty inspiring talk. Could you relate to anything you heard? I could, you know, at several different points, but probably the biggest would be how she emphasized her dignity and how that kind of led her to many different uh, life decisions because um, I wouldn't, I also have this, you know, inherent feeling within me that I'd like to achieve something on my own merits. And, and of course, everybody, you know, we're standing on the shoulders of giants, so it's not only by ourselves, but at the same time, we do have this kind of impetus in us that's saying like, You do it, and not because of nepotism, not because of wasaid, because you did it, and you wanted to do it, and you achieved it. Lima Karaki is a great mentor, and her programs on TV are one of the most important programs any I've ever watched, Saraha, and it was worth it. Well, actually, Dr. Kafarani Deman, his endeavors, was his work in in this uh, field is really uh, amazing, from uh, from uh, better to best. Yeah. Could you relate to anything you heard? Actually. يعني خصوصي قصة انه being depressed and feeling yourself out of this world and no you're not uh, you're not uh, being able to be successful and then succeeding يعني seeing this this sick, uh, line of light is really good to someone who who want to achieve something something especially when you get it from someone like Rima what do you think of the mentoring talk initiative Uh, I think it's great and it's what we need here in AUB as a, you know, as a community and uh, it's something, you know, mentoring is something that is underrated and it should always be uh, available and I like that every time a speaker comes it's from a different background, from a different profession. The Mentoring Talk initiative is one of the most, initi- most important initiatives Dr. Kafarani uh, took at AUB. And inshallah, من أحسن يعني من من منيح لأحسن. And we're waiting for Tarala uh, Bogazale. أكيد the talk, the next talk I think is Tarala Bogazale. It's gonna be a, a beautiful talk. Uh, I think it's a lovely idea. I think uh, you know you should uh, be uh, you know like persevere and stay on like that. And كتير عم نستفيد منها وكتير حلوة وكتير مبسوط وهيك. How does it feel to? Uh, to listen to your mother giving a mentoring talk. I'm proud. I'm proud to be her son. <laughs>